Tonight, from the Newsday Studio, we celebrate the top workplaces in Nassau and Suffolk counties as Newsday presents the 2020 Top Long Island Workplaces. Please welcome the publisher of Newsday, Debbie Krennic. Hello, everyone. I'm Debbie Krennic, publisher of Newsday, and I'd like to welcome you to our annual Top Workplaces event. Like many things this year, our celebration has gone virtual, but the sentiment remains the same. We're here to celebrate all of you. Our Top Workplaces event honors organizations where employees feel engaged, appreciated, and empowered. Nominating your organization means you felt inspired and you wanted to share that they're leading the way for others in the business community. And all of us at Newsday feel privileged to be able to recognize organizations right here on Long Island who are truly doing it right. History has taught us that during times where we are tested the most, it's also a time of great opportunity. And though the pandemic has impacted business in many ways, where we go from here has yet to be written. Your top honors today can help shape Long Island's next chapter. Congratulations to all of our top workplaces. As we celebrate the top workplaces on Long Island, many of you may be asking, how did we get here? Newsday promoted the nomination process this past February, allowing employees to evaluate their workplaces based on its culture. Energage tabulated the submissions, resulting in tonight's list of the top workplaces on Long Island. Please welcome the president of Energage, Dan Kessler. We want to leave you with three very concrete actions you can take away to drive connection in your organizations. Number one, celebrate the good. Look for moments like winning this award to build pride and a sense of morale amongst your team. Number two, give your employees a voice. Now, the good news here is that all of you already took this step by conducting the employee engagement survey that's part of our Top Workplaces program. But maintaining connection requires asking for feedback more than just once a year. Frequent pulse surveys can make this a relatively easy lift. Number three, make people-informed decisions. Don't let the data you've already collected die on the vine. Build the trust and confidence of your team by leveraging insights to take actions to continually improve your culture. Congratulations once again. We look forward to seeing you at next year's Top Workplaces event, hopefully in person. Be safe and be well. Please welcome your host, presenting in the large business category, news anchor, Faith Jesse. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. This ceremony showcases the best in large, mid-size, and small workplaces on Long Island. But that's not all. We'll also be highlighting workplaces that have gone above and beyond in categories like leadership, direction, and new ideas. This year's had its unique challenges, but now it's time to celebrate your accomplishments. Because according to your employees, you're doing it right. Okay, now it's time to recognize companies in the category of large workplaces. Counting down from number 10, Adults and Children with Learning and Development Disabilities Incorporated. Starting in 1957, ALCD provides services to adults and children with autism and developmental disabilities at 100 locations across Long Island. At number nine, congratulations to Well Life Network. Founded in 1980, Well Life Network provides services to adults and children with intellectual and developmental disabilities, health problems, addiction, and behavioral issues. Ranked at number eight, we have New York Cancer and Blood Specialists. With nearly 30 offices in the metropolitan area, New York Cancer and Blood Specialists is a leading provider of oncology services. Number seven in our top large businesses is Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. The sole provider of emergency care on the South Fork and a division of Stony Brook University, the hospital provides primary care and specialized surgery. 
The large workplace ranked at number six is Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Founded in 1890, this nonprofit straddling the Nassau Suffolk border is a leader in biology and genetics research. Ranked at number five, we have Zebra Technologies Corporation. Located in Holtzville, Zebra Technologies barcode scanners and handheld computers help retailers track down products for shoppers and truckers to optimize their routes. Number four is Family Service League. This Huntington-based nonprofit provides a safety net for Long Island's most vulnerable, offering more than 60 social service programs across 25 locations. And now we have the first of several special awards. These aren't based on how big or small the workplace is. It's how your employees feel about you and your workplace. The first two of these awards tonight are for leadership, large company, and direction. Employees say this winter is able to accomplish multiple tasks while still paying close attention to the client, community, and the needs of the employees. The winner of the award for leadership, large company, goes to Karen Borstein, Family Service League. Employees at this company say it is always looking for new ventures and marketplaces. They are growing and it feels good to be part of something successful. The winner of the Direction Award goes to Piping Rock Health Products. And we're back to announce our third ranked large company, Piping Rock Health Products. Since 2011, this Bohemia-based manufacturer has been making vitamins, essential oils and other wellness products for the consumer market. Now we're down to the top two, starting with BNB Bank. Headquartered in Bridgehampton, the local financial institution operates 39 branch locations serving Long Island and the New York metropolitan area. Okay, so now before we reveal the number one top large workplace, let's reveal two more special awards. These are for managers and new ideas. This company fosters an open-door policy where employees are put in the best position to succeed and given opportunities to prove themselves. The winner of the Manager's Award goes to Power Home Remodeling. Employees at this workplace say innovation is considered to be a core value and that managers encourage ideas from different departments and implement them. The winner of the New Ideas Award goes to National Business Capital and Services. Okay, we've reached our number one spot. Let's reveal our top large workplace. Congratulations to New York Life, Long Island. So we have over 700 agents, uh, which actually makes us one of the largest general offices in the New York Life system. Uh, over 50 members of a management team and several dozen administrative staff uh, covering the entire island, even parts that don't consider themselves the island, uh, with main locations in Brooklyn, Flushing, Jericho, Melville, and Medford. So the culture for the New York Life Long Island General Office is very much a family-like environment. Uh, we would appreciate, respect, challenge, and console one another. Uh, I think this is put on display perfectly every time we send an office-wide email uh, to celebrate the wedding of a staff member, a birth of a child, uh, and even when we offer our condolences to someone who may have lost a loved one or a family member. Uh, we go to great lengths here to make sure that family is included in everything that we do. Uh, whether that's again uh, bringing a spouse or a significant other to our annual black tie gala event uh, to a picnic at our managing partner's home or or even when we bring the entire family into our office uh, for a holiday party with a picture for santa claus uh, for all the little kids so i would think uh, our employees here uh, nominated us for the 2020 top workplace honor because uh, the pride they have for our organization uh, every year uh, we set out strive to be the best general office at new york life and one of the leading financial organizations on Long Island. And for these reasons, uh, I think they wanted to just see New York Life Long Island recognized uh, as one of the best places to work in our community. Congratulations to all of the winners in the top Long Island large workplaces category. We'll return with the awards for top mid-sized workplaces after this.
Welcome back to the top Long Island workplaces. Please welcome the host for Midsize Workplaces, Newsday Multimedia Journalist, Cecilia Dowd. It's my pleasure to be here and congratulations to all of the winners in the Midsize category. So without any further ado, let's get started with Midsize Workplace number 16, Press Apart. Founded in 1950, Farmingdale-based Press Apart engineers, designs and makes precision aerospace, medical and industrial components for airplanes, pacemakers and more. Ranked at number 15 is CN Guidance and Counseling Services. This Hicksville-based company serves disadvantaged individuals and families coping with mental health and substance use disorders. Let's congratulate number 14, Options for Community Living Incorporated, providing residential and support services to Long Islanders with psychiatric disabilities and other serious chronic illnesses, including HIV AIDS. The 13th ranked mid-sized workplace is H2M Architects and Engineers. In business since 1933, this Melville-based company offers full services in architecture, engineering, environmental services, and construction administration. That brings us to number 12, Darby Dental Supply, LLC. Beginning in 1947, as a mail order catalog in Brooklyn, this company, now headquartered in Jericho, has grown to become one of the nation's largest providers of dental supplies and services. Let's hear it for number 11, Family and Children's Association. Based in Mineola, this nonprofit provides mental health addiction, family support, and housing services to vulnerable children, families, seniors, and communities on Long Island. We have another special award now in the category of Leadership Midsize Company. This winner is cited as an effective communicator who keeps staff well informed, hosts weekly webinars to let staff know how the company is doing. The winner of the award for Leadership Midsize Company goes to Robert Lonigro, Healthcare Partners, MSO. We've entered the top 10 for mid-sized companies, so let's recognize number 10, Sunation Solar Systems. Headquartered in Ronkonkoma, Sunation Solar Systems has completed more than 5,000 residential, commercial, and municipal solar system installations since it was founded in 2003. Here comes number nine, Grassi Advisors and Accountants. This company provides consulting, audit, tax, and technology services to individuals and businesses in construction, architecture, engineering, not-for-profit, healthcare, and other sectors. Ranked at number eight, we have Spellman High Voltage Electronics Corporation. Founded in 1947, this HOPOG-based company manufactures high voltage power supplies and X-ray equipment with facilities in the US, Mexico, Europe, Japan, and China. Seventh ranked mid-sized business is Markham LLP. Started in 1951, this accounting and advisory services firm handles tax planning and preparation, assists in mergers and acquisitions, business valuation and forensic accounting. Ranked at number six is Association for Mental Health and Wellness. With a headquarters in Ronkonkoma among their eight locations, they provide mental health services to Suffolk County residents. Time for more special awards. These two are in the category of doers and meaningfulness. This workplace makes customer service a top priority, but also listens to its employees and makes them feel appreciated. Just two reasons the winner of the Doers Award goes to College Hunks Hauling Junk and Moving. These employees feel managers at this company treat them like family, creating an environment where the workers want to exceed and do better, which is why the winner of the Meaningfulness Award goes to Aurora Contractors Incorporated. We've reached the top five mid-sized companies. First up is number five, Kimco Realty Corporation. This commercial real estate investment trust based in Jericho has developed an ownership stake in about 400 shopping centers and mixed use properties across the US. Ranked at number four, we have Pasilico. Headquartered in Farmingdale, Pasilico provides civil and environmental engineering services for metro area projects. Let's recognize number three, Power Home Remodeling. Founded in 1992, they install replacement windows, doors, roofing, and siding on homes across the country. 
Let's hear it for number two, Exit Realty Achieve. Since their launch in 2010, they are among the top closing residential groups in Suffolk, working with buyers and sellers across Long Island. Before we announce the top workplace, we have two more special awards. These are for Cluden Senior Management and Communication. Employees at this company say open and transparent communications for management keep them well informed, enabling them to plan work and family life. The winner of the Communication Award goes to Zebra Technologies Corporation. The winner in this category encourages employee opinions through virtual Q&A forums, branch visits, and surveys asking for feedback. The winner of the Cluden Senior Management Award goes to B&B Bank. Okay, we've reached number one, so let's reveal our top mid-size workplace. Congratulations to Healthcare Partners. Here at Healthcare Partners, we work to make sure that our members are taken care of. We have an independent physicians association where we offer medical care, utilization management, care management, transition of services when you need them on the medical side. Our managed services organization and we provide back office processing such as claims processing, authorization processing to make sure that the care that's given to our members is paid for correctly. At Healthcare Partners, we really work on our corporate culture. We think that happy employees make happy members and physicians. We've uh, undergone a, a program over the last couple years to really hear our employees, to actively listen, and work to change the culture to be one that everyone wants to work at. We've invested in them like family, and they in turn think of us as family, and, and that's very important to us. It's important to our members and providers that they're also happy because we work very closely with these smaller communities to make sure that we deliver what they need us to deliver and that they're happy doing it. Working at Healthcare Partners, you really feel a difference from the day that you start in terms of the people and how they feel about the organization. We really see people committed and moving it forward. Everyone loves to come to work every day. We have a lot of uh, programs where we work as small teams to further healthcare partners, but also to support our community. We have an employees association that uh, we work and, and pick causes and work towards those causes. Things like Red Nose, we have families at Christmas time, and our employees always, always participate at a very high level. Congratulations again to all the winners in the mid-size category. We'll return with the awards for top small workplaces after this. Newsday's Brand360 Content Solutions enable local businesses to drive engagement and impact sales through print, digital, and visual storytelling. From concept to completion, we know how to increase your visibility in a competitive marketplace with Newsday's Brand360. Welcome back to the top Long Island workplaces. Please welcome the host for the category of Small Workplaces, Newsday business reporter, Daisy Calavia Robertson. I'm very pleased to be here to announce the winners in the category of Small Workplaces. Let's begin with the company ranked at 40, Tweezerman International. Based in Port Washington, they're a leading brand of beauty tools for brows, lashes, face, manicure, and pedicure. At 39, we have Long Island Select Healthcare Incorporated. This private nonprofit company provides affordable healthcare to the medically and economically undeserved population of Central Islip in Suffolk County. At 38, we recognize Engel Berman. This Jericho based full service real estate firm has developed more than 10 million square feet of commercial and residential property with a market value of $3 billion. Coming in at 37, we have Greenman Pedersen Incorporated. This Babylon-based engineering, design, and construction firm has been involved in major projects ranging from the Big Dig in Boston to the Tapanzi Bridge replacement. Let's hear it for number 36, Above All Storefronts. Founded in 1993, this company engineers, fabricates, and installs architectural exterior wall systems throughout New York and the Tri-State region. Ranked at number 35, we have Mercy Haven. Since 1985, they have worked to provide safe, affordable, supportive housing and services to those living with mental illness, the homeless, low-income individuals and families on Long Island. 
At number 34, let's hear it for VHB Engineering serving landscape architecture and geology. VHB's team of civil and environmental engineers have been involved in the revitalization of Baldwin's commercial district, as well as the development of apartments near the Mineola Long Island Railroad Station. At number 33, congratulations to BBS Architects, Landscape Architects and Engineers. Founded in 1985 with a home office in Patchogue, this firm is one of the top educational facility designers in the state. We're presenting another special award, this time in the category of appreciation. Employees point to appreciation of their decisions and investment in their development, along with bonus and incentive packages to promote engagement. The winner of the Appreciation Award goes to Basilico. Ranked at number 32, we have Prepaid Ventures Limited. This company is a leading processor of prepaid debit cards, working to bridge the gap between traditional paper services and electronic payments. Next, we have at 31, Austin Williams, a full-service advertising and marketing agency based in Hopog that prides itself on being a fun workplace that loves to laugh, yet delivers consistently on time. Coming in at number 30, congratulations to Kids First Evaluation and Advocacy Center. Based in Huntington, they offer state and county funded special education services for preschool children and those from birth to three years of age. At number 29, we celebrate Sale Incorporated. Founded in 1982, the South Shore Association for Independent Living provides a range of services for those with mental and other disabilities, with a focus on helping patients increase their independence. Number 28, congratulations to MSH Incorporated Plessers Appliances. Founded in 1919, this privately held electronics and appliance retailer in Babylon is one of the country's oldest appliance stores. At number 27, let's hear it for New Vitality. Founded in 1998, this Edgewood-based company sells vitamins, supplements, and personal care products. Next up at number 26, congratulations to Meadowbrook Financial Mortgage Bankers. Since 2010, this Westbury-based firm has grown to include multiple locations along the East Coast and is now licensed in 17 states. Okay, at 25, we're recognizing College Hunk Hauling Junk and Moving. The successful Bohemia-based moving and junk removal company also works in partnership with local shelters and nonprofit groups to help domestic violence victims move for free. At 24, congratulations to Reverse Mortgage Funding. This company provides financial options to help older Americans stay in their homes during retirement. Ranked at 23, congratulations to National Consumer Panel. This data analysis and research firm provides actionable consumer data to support the needs of leading global market research firms, such as Nielsen. We have another special award to present, this time in the category of Work-Life Flexibility. Employees at this company say management is considerate of their needs, enabling them to work from home and adjust their work schedule if needed to meet family needs. The winner of the Work-Life Flexibility Award goes to McIntyre, Donahue, Accardi, Salmonson, and Riordan LLP. Ranked at number 22 is Appliance World, a fully authorized dealer of major home appliance brands. For nearly three decades, this family-owned company has operated showrooms in Huntington and Oyster Bay. At 21, we salute a Technology and Security Solutions. Launched in 1986, this Bayshore-based firm protects staff, students, and community members by supplying security systems that use the latest technologies. We'll be right back with the final awards of the night after this. We will return with the top Long Island workplaces after this. The American Air Power Museum is a proud sponsor of the 2020 Top Long Island Workplaces. Welcome back to the Top Long Island Workplaces. The winner in this category is noted for its compassion and encouragement toward employees and abides by a family first rule when balancing work against personal needs. The winner of the Values Award goes to Network Solutions and Technology. All right, we did it. We cracked the top 20. Let's kick it off with number 20, Louis K. McLean and Associates. This company provides civil engineering consulting services on a variety of projects, including those led by clients such as the New York State Department of Transportation and Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. 
Number 19, congratulations, Trans Service Logistics. Based in Lake Success, this company provides transportation solutions for businesses nationwide, keeping businesses such as food service, retail, and publishing on the move. At 18, we have New York State Solar. This Hicksville firm sells and installs residential rooftop solar panels in the metropolitan area. Coming in at number 17, we have Louis Joe's Avalon Avalis LLP. This Islandia-based law firm specializes in commercial litigation, real estate, insurance, defense, trusts, and elder law. Ranked at number 16, we have Stasi Brothers Asphalt and Masonry. Family owned and operated, this Westbury based company has provided construction services for commercial and residential buildings since 1962. Coming in at 15, congratulations to Janiver LLC, a full service accounting, tax, and advisory firm based in Garden City. Janiver has been ranked as one of the top mid Atlantic accounting firms by Accounting Today. Ranked at number 14, congratulations to United States Luggage Company. Based in Hopog, this company manufactures luggage items for retailers worldwide. Its two distinct brands are the Sustainable Solo and the high-end Briggs & Riley. That brings us to number 13, Future Tech Enterprise, a Holbrook-based IT provider that specializes in technical support for industry-leading organizations in aviation, manufacturing, and beyond. Coming in at number 12, we have PW Grocer Consulting. Headquartered in Bohemia, this company provides federal, state, municipal, and private industry clients with environmental consulting and engineering services. We have another special award to present, this time in the category of training. Employees with this company state that regularly scheduled trainings have been valuable because they learn how their position fits with the agency as a whole. The winner of the training award goes to Association for Mental Health and Wellness. Next, ranked at number 11, congratulations to Yardy Systems. Based in California with employees on Long Island, this company develops custom software and offers consulting services. We've entered the top 10, so let's kick it off with number 10, Ducal Corporation. This Ronkonkoma-based company is a manufacturer specializing in products for general wound care, skin care, and personal care. Coming in at number nine, let's hear it for United Northern Mortgage Bankers Limited. Founded in 1979, this Leviton-based firm helps clients achieve the American dream of home ownership by serving as a direct local lender. Next, we have at number eight, McIntyre, Donahue, Accardi, Salmonson, and Riordan, providing representation for workers' compensation, social security disability, and pension disability claims. This Bayshore-based law firm was founded in 1955. We come to lucky number seven, American Portfolios Financial Services. Founded in 2001, this financial services company, independent broker and dealer, offers a complete range of financial services. Let's recognize number six, SupplyHouse.com. Based in Melville and founded in 2004, this is an e-commerce plumbing and HVAC supply company. We have reached the top five small workplaces. Starting off with number five, Blue Ocean Wealth Solutions. This East Hills wealth management firm's daily mantra sounds like a code. Three, four, five. The meaning, three words, I love you. Four words, I believe in you. And five words, I'm proud of you. Coming in at number four, we have Aurora Contractors Incorporated. This Ronkonkoma family-owned company has been providing construction management, contracting, and design services in the metropolitan area since 1983. At number three, we have Total Technology Solutions. Since 1988, this company, located in Melville, has been providing IT support, cybersecurity, and managed services to Long Island customers. Here we are at number two. So congratulations to Network Solutions and Technology. This East Northport provider of IT and consulting services calls its employees family and the lifeline of our business. We have two final special awards to present in the categories of benefits and leadership small company. Employees at this company were unanimous about their strong benefits package from health care to retirement. The winner of the benefits award goes to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. The winner in this category is very hands-on, someone who really cares about the people he works with and the company as a whole. The winner of the award for Leadership Small Company goes to Vincent Tedesco, Total Technology Solutions. 
Okay, we've reached number one. It's time to reveal our top small workplace. Congratulations to National Business Capital and Services. So National Business Capital and Services uh, is a company that was designed and built um, for business owners to obtain financing in, a, in one place, in a very simple place. So um, back in 2007, we started on this mission, um, really just to make it easy um, and simple for small business owners all across the country uh, to access financing. A lot of people would have loved to work you know, remote and now going through COVID, um, I don't think anyone wants to work, you know, remote anymore. And I think it made us all realize, um, you know, how important it is to have an amazing place to come to every day. And I think too, I mean, this amazing environment here has been created. We have an awesome culture. We have a fun office environment. And I think it made us all really appreciate and, and um, respect how, you know, how important that was. It's very inviting. It's an awesome place to come to every day. Um, we, uh, we, we all get along. The, uh, uh, owner Joe is, is awesome, always looks out for everyone, uh, looking to take care of us even after COVID. We're always trying to improve culture, making things positive. Um, we're constantly doing different events, competitions. Um, we're doing, uh, um, we do lunches, dinners, really to make the culture and the environment just better. We've got a lot of great people here that care about their job, care about the company, care about what they do. There's always something good going on here, whether it's giving back you know, locally to the community. The biggest thing is, is really creating um, an amazing environment and workplace um, and, and, and an environment that's really just built on integrity and, and, and mutual respect. And I think our employees really love that. And, and um, we work hard, but we just, we have fun while we're doing it. Congratulations to all the winners in the category of small workplaces and all the winners this evening. Because of all the outstanding companies represented here today, our third Top Long Island Workplaces event was a great success. Your top honors are something you should be proud of and you should celebrate. We encourage you to spread the word and we'll be doing the same in our special Top Workplaces section that will be shared with all Long Islanders on Sunday, November 15th. On behalf of myself and everyone at Newsday, congratulations and keep up the great work.